Behind me is a supermarket here in Thailand and I'm about to take you inside because it is so surprisingly, unbelievably expensive to shop for groceries here in Thailand. $10 for an apple. <laughs> Yeah, that's nearly 50 US dollars for cherries. Wow, look at this, 3,000. This is now over $110. Obviously, Thailand is famous for many things, one of which is cheap eats. But living here in Thailand, the truth of the matter is that, well, for me anyway, I normally eat out. Because every time I come to the supermarket, I always spend a fortune. So let me take you in, I'll show you around, and uh, hang around until the end as well, because we've got some really exciting and interesting developments about this channel going forward. So yeah, I'll take you shopping, I'll take you home and show you what I buy, and then uh, yeah, I'll talk to you about something interesting. But yeah, let's go inside here. You will not believe what it's like in here. Now don't worry, I'm not gonna <laughs> bore you with every single aisle and every single item. Just wanna show you the interesting parts now, they always put the fruit and veg, don't they, at the beginning? <laughs> They're like, oh, look how healthy it is. Well, let's start off by saying that this is 279 baht. So yeah, that's nearly $10 for a box of cherries. That's a good start. This box of cherries is 1,382 baht. <laughs> yeah, that's nearly 50 US dollars for cherries. $10 for a bag of grapes. <laughs> now I do want to have something. Normally if you come to this area, they chop it all up and it's a bit cheaper. This stuff is like my kryptonite. This medium ripe mango with the chili dip. Very, very good. Now how much are these? 79 baht. So this is like $2.50. I can deal with that. That's a good snack. Baked potatoes. These are cheap. This one's only a dollar. Just over a dollar for a baked potato. You can steam it. And then these are your classics. Delicious. This is the same mango, but just a little bit less ripe. This is really sour. Pomelo. $2 for some chopped strawberries. <laughs> yum. Expensive, but yum. $10, just under $10 for this giant, what is this, a Fiji apple? A Japanese apple. $10 for an apple. <laughs> $10 for an apple. Amazing. Your veggies, your salads, your greens. Now I do need some greens for my salad. I like to make a salad for work. I normally go for this brand of uh, brand. <laughs> this uh, type of green, the green costs. I like this one, it's crunchy. This is just over a dollar. These are organic vegetables. So you look for this sticker, this sticker, that means they're all organic. So $1.50 for a carrot, but all of these are wrapped in plastic and they have that sticker to suggest that they're organic. In fact, this, is, this whole area is organic. Look at the little broccolis. <laughs> Look how much plastic they use just for this one little broccoli. And it's uh, three US dollars for a tiny piece of broccoli. Can you believe that? heritage yep these are delicious and they last for ages I just sprinkle in a few of these dehydrated cranberries 165 baht so about yeah about five US then you've got your sushi this is a real treat and they always have them on cheap offers especially in the afternoons I've just come straight from work so you can see they've discounted them I'm kind of tempted to pick up one this looks delicious 99 baht for some panda sushi. Yes, please. The cheese, guys. This is where things start to get expensive. Some of the cheeses, let me find you. Like, this is the typical cheddar. A tiny piece of cheddar. How many grams is that? It's difficult to find the, the grams because it's all written in Thai, but... Anyway, that just that piece of cheese right there, eight US dollars. <laughs> Look at this French fresh mozzarella 25 us dollars per kilo wow got the cheese strings for the kids oh my god my sister used to love these mm. nearly five us dollars for a pack of five wow chicken's dirt cheap two dollars for the chicken sets chicken wings two dollars 
Chicken breasts are always super cheap. Chicken breast, one dollar for a big chicken breast. Wow, look at this, three thousand. This is an over a hundred and a hundred and ten dollars per kilo for wagyu. Wow, amazing. Uh, this is nearly a hundred and fifty dollars, but this is premium, premium meat. Australian chilled, four hundred day grain fed wagyu sirloin. <gasps> Wow, that just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? You've got an amazing wine and a champagne selection. You've got your sparkling Australians. You've got your fancy Rieslings from Germany and incredible Italian wines. Wines can be quite expensive or they can be quite reasonable. Like these ones here are very expensive. We're talking that's $160 a bowl. You've got a $100 bottle of um, sparkling up there. But then you've got the Australian ones, so it's just cheaper. You know, that one's, what's that? 18 US dollars, that's not too bad. You can get bottles of wine for 300 baht, you know? You can spend $10 for wine. Watch this, this is 399, the cheap red. The cheap red, the cheap white, classic. You've got the Jacob's Creep Shiraz Cabernet, $20. That's not too bad. Old wines, new world wines. You've got whiskies, you've got your booze, you can get your, you can get fancy Kraken beers, your Pampera rums, really high-end, proper premium pr stuff here. Not just your Samsungs. <laughs> I love a good beer. And they have lots and lots of selections. They've got Belgian beers, they've got Swedish ciders, the Recorder Licks, the Strawberry and Lime. Oh, the Strawberry and Lime on the sunny day. You've got IPAs, you've got all the classics, Ho Gardens, Budweiser's, American beers. These are really good. These are all Thai beers. Thai IPAs. This is a Raven IPA from, does it say where it's from? It's 7%, wow. I'm not sure where that's from. These ones are from, uh, from Phuket, but I don't know that one. And then you've got the classic, the really, the really good Belgian ones, like Duvel. That's actually not too bad. $5 for Vedette, $5 for La Chouf. And this one, this is very good price. This is the Dark Cherry La Chouf. This is an incredible, incredible beer. This is um, one of my favorites. Very, very good. And that's very reasonable. You've got Sapporo, this is a classic. You've got your Beer Laos. You've got your Chiang Mai's. Yeah. Then you've got all these. I have a weak, a weak spot for these Smirnoff things. Electric blue, seven percent. I don't know why, but I literally love these. But I get the big ones from 7-Eleven. They're only a dollar. Yeah, good selection. Look up there, they've got all these other canned beers. I've never seen these before. Ho Gardens. Oh, these are good. These are peach and like cream soda and grape sodas, but they're alcoholic, but they're only 3%. They're from Japan, and I love these. On a sunny day, me and the girls at the house, when they're not pregnant, we smash these at the pool. And they've got more. They've got, oh, look, they've got the Sri Lankan lion beer. We drank that on the Budgeteers YouTube channel. All of this. Got the canned beers. They've got a good selection here. The classic Thai Chiang, Singer, Leo, can't go wrong. Got Phuket canned, San Miguel. <laughs> Lots of beers. And you can buy a whole case for about $15 and get 30 cans. Amazing. Now I do get this. This is one of the things I like to get. It is a, uh, what they call them, a booster. Basically you just squirt this into your water at school or at home and it boosts your water. You get more vitamins, very good product. I love this. It's expensive but it lasts a couple of weeks. Three dollars and you squirt it into your water. Ice cream! Actually, how much is ice cream? Two dollars for this? I don't know. I don't really eat ice cream. Hagen dazs everybody knows this. Everybody knows it's expensive. And this is no different. Dark chocolate, ganache and almond. Basically, fifteen dollars. Now, this is where things get crazy. The cereal. <laughs> Wait till you see some of these cereals. Ready? Fruit Loops. Actually, that's not too bad. Why did I used to think they were... Maybe the price of cereal's gone down, actually. Yeah, actually. 
Well, I don't know how it compares with you guys, but Special K, $6. Fruit Loops, $4.5. That's not too bad, actually. I remember them being more expensive. Vegan friendly, delicious milks, if you're uh, into that. And uh, actually, that reminds me, I do want some almond milk. These are the Thai snacks. Now, I could do a whole video on weird Thai snacks, but I'm not gonna bore you, but let's just pick something at random. Banana chips, taro sticks and purple and orange sweet potatoes, Tom Yum Rice Krispies. Wow, they will be probably very gross. <laughs> Crispy oyster mushrooms. Okay, like, like I said, we could do a whole video about them but not now. Coffee, now believe it or not, Thailand's well famous for coffee. It's got a really good coffee scene, but when you come to the supermarkets, it's kind of just all the same old rubbish. You know, we all know this, this is all rubbish. It's all rubbish. Pasta, classic pasta, $2, $2, $2, $2, they're all $2, very cheap. Now, if you're into spicy hot sauce like me, you're gonna be happy. They've got a good selection. Sriracha sauces here. See these? We recognize these from back home. Very good. Not too expensive either, very cheap. They've got the Tabascos, the sir more Sriracha brands. They've got the Tabascos, they've got all the steak sauces, the barbecue sauce, they've got Da Bomb, they've got the Jamaican habanero sauces. These ones are more expensive. They're a little bit more hipster vibes. But if you need your hot sauces, they got them here. If you need your Himalayan pink salts, they got them here. Ranch. Americans love ranch dressing. Pepper Jack Cheese Ranch. It's not the official brand, but I'm sure that's just as good and it's very cheap. Although I know Americans will be saying, oh my God, it's not the same. <laughs> do they have HP sauce? Yes, they do. These two, Lady and Perrins and HB Sauce, a staple of British seasoning and condiments. What's down here? Yeah, noodles and rice, who cares? Right, biscuits, not interesting. Um, kitchen stuff, yeah, yeah, usual, usual. Toothpaste, that's what I need. I actually do need some good toothpaste. My teeth are kind of sensitive, not sponsored. Um, <laughs> Let's go check out something for the ladies. In case you're wondering, what is the selection for feminine products? Where, where are the lady bits? Oh, they were there the whole time. I just don't know what they look like. So $3 for all these brands. They're all Thai brands. Do you recognize these? Ultra value pack. This is $3, $3.50. I don't know anything about what this is, but <laughs> that was my best effort. Chocolate, this is a must visit lane. They've got the classic German brands, not too expensive. Fancy Belgian ones, which I don't think any everyone ever buys, but they seem to put them on the shelves. These are not so good. These are good. Do you guys like these ones? These are good. And I want to show you the Thai chocolate. The Thai chocolate is good. Yeah, this stuff. This is made in Thailand. Dark chocolate. Very nice. This one's dark chocolate orange. Oh, look at that. Not too bad. Anyway, I hope this is interesting. Let me go pay for all this and we'll take you home. And then I'll just tell you about all my cool plans. Yeah, look. Haribo. I'm gonna get some Haribo for the kids in class. I'll treat them tomorrow if they're good. Right then, shopping done. I didn't get that much stuff because, like I said, shopping is expensive. And, just put you down there for a second. And, uh, yeah, like I don't actually want to get a bunch of ingredients and then make something. I've got enough things to make 
bits and pieces and then I'll just top up with anything that I need from like you know 7-eleven <laughs> just much cheaper and uh, just like little local stalls near my house anyway I'm gonna drive home and I'll show you what I bought and everything how much it cost but yeah I do want to get back before it gets dark because the Sun is going down so yeah I hope you enjoyed a little snoop around a supermarket in Thailand it's weird right it's different it's expensive all right let's go home I forgot to do the thumbnail inside the supermarket. I was going to stand there and... But then like, I, I felt uncomfortable the whole time I was in there with my GoPro. So I'm just trying to fake it now. I think if I wear a red... If I wear a red thingy... It might look a bit more... Colourful. And then uh, get my shopping bag. Maybe I'll be like... And they're like, what the f***? <laughs> it's so expensive, oh my gosh! Or should I do the really cringy like YouTube thing, like... Ready? <laughs> the super like, the super like, please click on me, ready? I think I'll just stick to the, the face expression in the realms of human expression. Uh, I kind of feel like I've got some bright coloured cereal boxes. This might look good. This this is behind the scenes stuff here. But uh, maybe I'll be like, yeah, that's a good one. I'll be like, huh? Or I'll be like, whoa. Or I'll be like, holy crap. <laughs> okay, so. This is everything I bought from the supermarket. I got the lettuce. I got the delicious mango with the sweet chili sauce. Uh, this is my dinner for tonight. I got that really good on offer 100 baht sushi. I'm gonna put that in the fridge actually. Because Thailand's hot. Also, I got sandwich, ham and cheese sandwich for lunch at school one day, some toothpaste, some almond milk, some chocolate blueberries. Oh, I forgot about these. Uh, what do you call these again? S dehydrated cranberries. These, these are gonna last me for weeks. Like probably till, you know, the end of my time in Chiang Mai. I got some cheese. These aren't like ingredients for like a dinner, really. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking things through. I got my uh, like vitamin water booster thing. Some Harry Bows for the kids at school tomorrow. We'll play a game and then I'll let them win a couple of things. And I got some more cereal. Some special K. <laughs> oh, you can tell I'm a single bachelor, right? That is a rubbish haul. And all of this, all of this cost. This cost me, oh, I, oh, this didn't count, but I got another lottery ticket. Uh, I, I, got the, I kept the receipt, where is it, 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 where is it? Yes, all of this cost 1,260 baht, which is this much dollars, exactly this much dollars. So, that's what it's like when you go shopping <laughs> in a supermarket in Thailand. And uh, if you've made it to this far, Consider subscribing because this is not the kind of content we're going to be making. We're going to be going on a mad adventure very soon. In two months, I'm going to be taking you on my little Honda dream and we're going to try to visit every single province of Thailand. It might take me nine months, it might take me 12 months. And uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit now about how I've been building the back end of my channel. Um, because yeah, I'm going to t I need to make this YouTube channel be my income somehow. So I want to show you how I've been doing that, or thinking I'm going to be doing that. So yeah, subscribe, because we're kind of going on a mad adventure. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to put this away, and then I'll talk to you about it. Okay, right, so let me just kind of go through what I've been doing behind the scenes in terms of building the channel into, laying the foundations for it to, in the future, potentially, make an income for me. So um, if, if you were just here for the supermarket haul, you can, you can leave if you want, or you can stay if you're interested in this kind of thing. Um, I know some of you will be interested in this, so um, let me explain. So, firstly, 
this is my home page uh, when I click on the monetization tab on YouTube you can see that I am not eligible to make a single dollar on my channel yet you need 1,000 subscribers and you need 4,000 watch hours once you get 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers you will then be enabled to put ads on your channel and make ad revenue but right now um, I have I'm just over half of the watch hours I need and yeah we've, we're doing okay on subscribers we've done that already so thank you for you know joining and watching the videos so uh, I should I should be able to get 4,000 watch hours hopefully way before I start my journey which is good because that means when I start making my videos about each province I should hopefully be getting hopefully somewhere between five and 10,000 views. I'm hoping, that's my aim, per video, and then try and knock three to four videos a week, maybe even more. I'm capable of making more, much more. Uh, I just don't want to focus too much on knocking out incredible amounts of content. I'd like to scale it back and do much better quality content, but I'm not gonna be doing mad documentaries or anything like that. Um, so it'll be, a, it'll be like a, there'll be like a medium line. Uh, so that's, 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 something that I can't talk about yet because I can't actually make any money um, yet. And then I worked on my channel art. Um, I found this app and I put photos into it and they came out like these artworks and I played around for ages and I got it to look really nice. I'm really happy with how the artwork looks. I branded the channel Paddy Doyle Next Level Adventures because next level is just something that I'm always saying and people take the mickey out of me. They're like, oh, next level, everything's next level. Um, it's just something I say, and I love to go on adventures. So I was like, next level adventures. And you can't get more next level than going on a little Honda Dream and drive around the entire country of Thailand. Um, I think that's pretty cool. So it kind of works, right? And this is just gonna be series one. When I finish all of these provinces of Thailand, and you know, if I've built the channel and if I've built this into something that's sustainable, then maybe I can go do series two in another country and do another next level adventure. See what I did there? Uh, what else have I got going on? Um, okay, so I spent ages on the links and all the things in the descriptions because that's where a lot of YouTubers make money outside of YouTube. And this is something like some of these things we don't even do on the other channel, the Budgeteers, which is a part of the channel, which is a channel that I've been a part of for a long time. Um, and that's Amazon. I've got Amazon links here now. So if you want to find out what camera equipment I'm using, especially with when I'm on my bike, I link all the things. And then if you end up going and buying something using that link, I take a small commission. In fact, if you take, if you buy anything off Amazon using these links, um, I'll make a small commission during that like time that you're online. So that potentially can make a little bit of money trickling in every time someone wants to buy a camera or they, they like click on the link and then change their mind and actually buy a TV. So that would be nice. Um, I don't know if that's actually going to work. I don't, I've never made a penny on Amazon affiliate linking. This is my first time. What else do I have going on? Oh, this is really cool. I have this form. It says, do you have any recommendations for places for me to visit? Because people have been reaching out uh, on Instagram and um, in the comments already saying, oh, when you're in such and such province, I live here, make sure you go to this place and this place and this place. And already I'm like, Okay, I can't remember all these places and sometimes I check the message and I'm teaching or I'm about to go teach a lesson and I don't have time to search for that location and save it on Google Maps. So I've solved the problem. It took me a little bit of thinking, but um, in fact, someone called Patrick, uh, one of you guys called Patrick, uh, we worked on this together. Um, so it's Google Forms. We need to use Google Forms. You click on the link and it takes you to this form and you can then copy and paste a Google link, a Google Maps link to places. So you can say, hey, this is the Google Map location of this restaurant. Go eat this dish here and you can tell me why should I go there. And then all I have to do is manually save those on my Google Maps on my phone. So every time I'm in a province, I can bring up my Google Maps and see where you guys have been recommending me to go. So if you are watching this and you live in Thailand or you've been to you know interesting places in Thailand uh, outside of the typical spots that you want me to go visit and the channel to go and uh, highlight, whether it's a small little tiny place or a big place or a road or, or anything, save the location and let me know why we should go there and it'll be epic. Uh, what else have I done? Uh, I've got, I've got a Patreon, but I'm not going to launch that yet. 
I've got t-shirts, I've been making t-shirts and merchandise. Again, I'm not gonna launch any of this stuff until I've actually stopped teaching and my income has stopped. And when I'm going right into YouTube and uh, I'm relying on, you know, trying to turn this into a business, I, uh, I'll, I'll launch the Patreon properly. Some of you have already come on board. Uh, you found the links and that's great, but don't join the Patreon yet. You've got um, t-shirts, uh, artwork, it's, it's cool man, I'm, I'm excited to launch all this. Uh, I've got a cool thing about doing a quiz, I'm going to be doing a quiz every month. Um, that's through the Patreon thing. I've got a website, oh my god this is so cool, I made a website, this took me so long, it took me like a week. I made it on Wix, uh, not sponsored, uh, and it looks awesome. And a few people have been trying to help me make it look even better. Someone like sent me like a really long email, like he just copyrighted the whole thing for me and made, changed all the mistakes and the grammars and made all the sentences make sense. I've got like a homepage. I've got my story where I talk about everything about what I've been doing for the last four years and why I want to do this. And then I've got like ways you can support the channel and I have an unlisted video where I tell you ways you can do that. I've got my t-shirt page, I've got, oh, I'm doing consultations. I'm going to be selling services. So if you want to start a YouTube channel or grow your YouTube channel, if it's not growing, um, chances are I'll be able to take a look and tell you many reasons why and help you to grow. And I have, that is a consultation, you can book that. You can talk to me and have a consultation about Thailand. Maybe you want to live and work in Thailand. I can talk to all of you about that. Um, reasonably priced as well. And uh, I've got like a, a little thing there about like if you want to promote something on the channel. So I've got like services that I'm going to do. And uh, then I have tours. So if people want to travel with me and we'll tour around a part of the world together. And then I've got like different types of tours. So check out them if you're interested. Uh, obviously no one can come travel right now, but maybe in the future, very soon. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the whole website, it looks awesome. Um, that cost me like $150 for a year, so that was an investment. But I think, you know, even if I just sell three, three of these consultations, it's paid for the website, so that's good. Anything else interesting? That's it, I think. So. I'm building the foundations for the, the business side of it. You know, how am I going to be able to make money? And uh, the main way, 100% all of my eggs are going into the YouTube, you know, content basket. I want to be making content that's fun, interesting, adventurous, um, and then present it in a way that gets clicked on, that gets views and gives value and, you know, I, I, I don't know, I, I really don't know. I'm kind of making up as I go along, but I want to kind of share this side of this channel with you because I think it's interesting to you. Because it's really interesting to me. If I was watching someone gonna quit their job and do YouTube, I'd be like, yeah, but tell me actually, how do you do it? <laughs> and um, the thing is, it's like, I don't know, <laughs> but I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. So check out the links in the description of the video. You'll see all the things I've been talking about. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. And see you in the next one. <laughs> I'm gonna watch some Avril Lavigne because I'm obsessed with it at the minute. I don't know why. Uh, skip ad. Here she is. I need a beer as well. Thanks for watching. <laughs>